well. We've just finished our nine days camping at Lachette's. Been a fabulous time. Uh, as you can see, the snow's melting now. So we've got some fabulous snow on the mountains for skiing. Uh, and we've had lots of questions about how we prepared for uh, our motorhome trip in the Alps. So I'm gonna give you a quick run through of all the things we prepared for to come here. One of the key things was uh, to get some winterized tires. And these are not just winterized, they're actually all terrain tires. So these can be on all year round. They are going to be good in the mud, in the English muddy fields, and also good in the snow. We've also got some snow chains as well, just in case. We bought these on the way down here, quite, quite heavy. I had a practice fitting them, and what I'm going to do actually is at the end of this video, I'm gonna show you a longer section about how I fitted the snow chain. Essential is a silver screen to put over your windscreen. This is really gonna keep the heating during the night and also stop the condensation. One of the things we didn't prepare for was the uh, battery failing halfway through on our way down here. So we, while we're here, we've purchased a, a booster station should the battery fail again. Couldn't find anything that we left on, on overnight. I think it was just basically kind of the cold weather and the long drive down to zap the battery. But we are going to replace it. So I think a top tip, if your battery is about four years old or older, consider changing that before you come to uh, for, for a winter holiday. Okay, so a top tip when refilling your refillable gas cylinders is to fill up in the UK before you come to the continent. Because most places in the continent uh, have a butane mix, whereas in the UK it's 100% propane. And the reason why this is important is, is that so butane really doesn't cope that well with the colder temperatures. And so you could fill your cylinder and it may be 50% butane, 50% propane. It'll burn off the propane and then when you try to burn off the butane, you won't get the gases. So effectively, you're only getting half the capacity of, of the cylinder. And you're gonna need a lot of gas while you're away. We used uh, half of a cylinder over two days on the way down here. But if we were to use gas all the way through, I think you'd be using it up within about four or five days. So during winter, even in the UK, I have the vent cover for the fridge uh, attached. Driving in France and you're over 3.5 tons, then you need to have the, the mort angles. This is stuck on because this is plastic and I don't know if the plastic's gonna come off. Hopefully it will do. But what I really don't like is these ones on the front. So what I did, I bought some magnetic ones and they're really good. <laughs> Stick on really well. Uh, yeah, I've had no issues. We've been through the rain and all sorts of things. A really important tip is with your electric step, what you do not want is that to freeze because if it freezes and when it's out, you will not be able to move on. So what we've got is a portable step here which folds up really easy and small and light and we just don't use the electric step while we're in the cold temperatures. So you might think I'm about to wash the motorhome but that's not what this is for. This is to get on top of the motorhome, brush the heavy snow off, can't drive with that on there. With your electricity, what you don't want is it to freeze overnight into the ground, maybe under the snow. So useful to keep it off the ground and I've got some fishing rod uh, supports here that enable me to do that. On campsites, quite often you'll find that the water is not switched on because it freezes up. So our water's all the way down at the main building uh, and it's inside. So what you need is a container to go and fill it up and then drop it into your fresh water tank. Right, the temperatures uh, here were down to minus 12 overnight. Uh, and so what you might want to do, we didn't do it because our, we're heated internally, but here's the gray waste drop off. And if you're, if that freezes, then you've got problems. So you might want to leave it open all the time. Just put a bucket under there and just empty it regularly. Right, the garage on this motorhome is heated. So what we've got is we've put some hooks in here and these are basically uh, allowing us to hang our ski clothes uh, and dry them out. When we're parked up, we leave the windscreen wipers off the windscreen 
so they don't freeze on. What about when you've got the server screen on? Do you still put them on top of the server screen or leave them up? Yeah, put server screen on and also these still lifted up. Leave them up. Another tip we had was to fill it with diesel on the mountain rather than before we got here because the mountain diesel has some additives in it to stop it freezing. I guess it goes without saying you want to make sure you've got plenty of windscreen wash, uh, freeze, antifreeze in there and, and make sure your engine's all in, in good condition because there's nothing that's going to test out your motorhome and your engine like minus 12, minus 18 temperatures in the Alps at altitude. So this is called a winterized motorhome uh, and I'll show you inside now what that means. Here are the fresh and grey water tanks and as you can see here they're in an insulated layer within the motorhome so this area here is heated and if I look down there that is where the switch is to dump the grey so everything is actually kind of within all the pipes and all the water is within the heated part of the motorhome. Here you can see again the, the double insulated floor and uh, this basically blows hot air out into this void and you can see again the pipe work is in there all protecting it from freezing. So what I'm doing here is I'm insulating the cab part of the, uh, the motorhome. Because this is essentially a van it's not really meant to be uh, lived in you know, the, the back's insulated but the front isn't so what I've got is a couple of old sleeping bags here and I'm just feeding it down into the well of the doors and that make a huge difference that's the wells insulated well insulated well insulated oh. like it. <laughs> that was a good one the next thing I need to do is cover the dashboard in a blanket so this again will help to keep it uh, keep that cold air out I'm actually using the, there's a bar here that the blinds fit onto. Could be a bit careful because it doesn't look very strong, uh, but I'm just using a couple of pegs, or three pegs, to hook over that. And now we're all covered. You can actually uh, close the vents as well, if you, uh, if you so wish. And then we're all nicely insulated. And it and has definitely made, it's made a difference. It's made a difference. Yeah, yeah we've definitely told the difference. When I took it off this morning to drive it out to the garage, uh, I could feel this cold air straight away coming through when I took it out. So yeah. it's, it's been really cold, hasn't it, here overnight? Yeah. See, non standard tyres, I don't know, see. Well, look nice, though, don't they? And hopefully they perform well as well. Sort of get them laid out like a set of lace curtains is how I describe it so that they're basically not tangled up at least initially and then behind comes around the front shimmy them up behind the wheel do them together at the 12 o'clock and then pull the chain forward a bit so you can get it the other bits you need to join together is that bit so this red bit there goes yep. on there, like that. Then push the whole assembly over the back, push that back, centralise it up. So there's no adjustment that's going to be needed? Not yet, no. no. So then you've got this bit here, it's the catch, and this bit here. So you pull this back, put that through there, and that's a ratchet arrangement. And that's it. And now I'd say that size looks good. Yeah. Yeah. So do you have to? You don't have to do anything like kind of drive them and then tighten them. They just no, self tighten. No, because on these, these self tighten. So this, this here, because obviously you can't get this under the. Yeah. Yeah. So that that go under there. Is that likely to scratch the alloys? You can see they're new. Well, I can see they're new, madam. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'd never have guessed. No, you can um, with with the XGs. You will get what they call alloy, alloy wheel protectors. So the little buttons that go through this okay. to protect it. Oh, they come with it, do they? Yes, they do. Oh, with that one, they, the higher ones don't. Obviously, which yeah, we're just trying for size at yeah, the yeah, moment, just to get us an idea. The lace curtain, nothing. You're happy? Yeah. What's good about this? Oh yeah. Yeah, we'll sort of that. Just, I know it can sort of tangle up when you go underneath, but you need to start, you know, whichever way, yeah. Start yeah. from a good place, Dave, yes. Right, watching you now. Otherwise you'll get yourself frustrated. <laughs> <laughs>
Right, one of the little tricks which you didn't notice back when I was doing it is when you're doing it, right, and you've got it like this. If you put it through like, like this, right, this lends itself round to come round to the right place. Just by pushing it from the front. Look, yeah. I've only pushed it from the front and it's pulled it out there. Yeah. Right, now if you'd like to have another go. I think, unfortunately for you, you had it the other way round, so the curvature of the chain, of the cable going was trying to push it away from you, so that made it harder for him. Yeah. So would you go? For, yeah, so it's drawn it together. Now. Yeah, pull it on, sit it on the top of the tire if you want. Then you just need to pull the other bits round, don't you? Just don't fall down the back, but not that far down, is it? Oh God! Your fingers will have frozen off by now, babe. No, it's there. Look, look. There it's there. Hey. It's on a little bit of chain, so it should be a red yeah. bit on the end. Yeah. yeah. There you go. So that's it. That's where you've got tangled up. So Excellent. now join those two bits together. So those two red bits. That's it, like that. So two together. Now you can push the whole assembly. Don't do nothing at the bottom. Push yeah. the whole assembly over the back now. So two bits together. Push it, back. push it back. Keep going. That's got to go down the back of the tire, and these bits, sort of like that, have got to be in the central bit of the tire. So you've got to roughly know where to put it. That's ah, right. Okay. So there's that's where it sits. Yeah. yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. And all, don't forget, as you do that, you're linking the chains at the bottom as well, ready for the next bit. Yeah. Excellent. Looks like it's in the centre of the tyre. That's Perfect. it. Yeah, yeah. Look, you've got it now. Look. Excellent. That's it. Yeah, yeah. So that goes. So pull that clip back. Remember that sprung yeah. loaded. Yeah. yeah. So that goes. Yeah, it just the clips in the side. Yeah, you can go that way, but it just, oh. yeah, just goes in. That's it. Through there. That's it. Let go that. Pull that tight. And then pull your bungee cord to it. That's it. Pull that down to it. So that's got to go a long way there. Yeah, but it will do when it goes forward. It will. This, this, this is the size down. Yeah, Pull there's not right as much down. slack, is there? Oh, yeah. I didn't realise it. Yeah, no, that's it, that's it, yeah. That's it. Right, now pull it forward so you can get it at the 12 o'clock position. So that's why I say about 12 o'clock. Remember where that is roughly on the wheel so you know where to undo it. Push that together and pull it up. That's it, up and then let it go down the inside. Right, and all you've got to do now is make sure you don't drive over that bit or that catch. So yeah. pull that catch out. Not that you're going to do it, but anyway, yeah. You just remember, so that's got to be normally because this would have been here yeah. and that would have been there. Yeah. Just make sure it's like that. You can drive forwards or backwards off the chain because now on the other 